The key is to be amazing at whatever you're doing. You're always rewarded for how good you are. Go beyond good. Become amazing. I'm Larry Wingate, and I've been broke and I've been rich. I've written best-selling books and talked to thousands of people every single year about how to improve their lives and their finances. Welcome to my kick-butt approach to a better life. You can give up things in your life that you're right now spending your money on. People are so full of crap. The pure, unvarnished, no-nonsense truth. No more excuses your own damn fault. Americans owe more than two trillion dollars in consumer debt, but that wouldn't surprise Larry Winget, the man who's called the pit bull of personal development. He's Larry Winget, financial guru for hundreds of thousands of people. He is the author of, you gotta read this, you're broke because you want to be. And everyone is talking about this book. He's inspired nearly 400 of the Fortune 500 companies. Larry Winget, his latest book is called Work for a Reason, is a New York Times bestseller using a kick approach. Listen, success comes down to two basic things, hard work and excellence. I am not paid for my passion. I am paid because I am amazing at what I do. Pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. Larry Wingett, best-selling author of your broke because you want to be. Take the money you'll save and pay down your credit card debt. Probably should. Did he just say probably? I'm sorry you're in a horrible situation, but what action are you going to take to fix it? If you think bad things aren't going to happen, you're insane. Bad things are going to happen to you. You have to tie emotion to your stupidity, and until you feel bad about it, you're not going to be able to get past it and move on. I want you to go to the mirror, look yourself in the eye, have a Jimmy Swaggart moment, have tears run down your face, and say, I cannot believe I've been this stupid. I'd like to see everybody figure out how much money you really make, then figure out how much money you owe, then cut back on your lifestyle to make sure that what you owe is less than what you earn. So on your 30th anniversary, you can actually have a great toast that says, honey, our wedding is finally paid off. Damn people, come on. I don't think millionaires are extraordinary people. I think millionaires are ordinary people willing to do extraordinary things. That's what I do for a living. I go all over the world, talk to all kinds of businesses, associations, organizations. Prices go up, prices go down. It's leveling out. We've hit that place. There are janitors who are millionaires. There are doctors who are absolutely broke. It's not called playtime. It's not called socializing time. It's not called having a good time. It's work. You guys got to get on the same page. And I haven't felt that since I walked in the door. It's all finger pointing. And that's not how it ought to be. You learned it's anything, I learned that. You guys are about to get married and be a team, and you need to start acting like a team. Everybody knows exactly what it takes to be successful. Every single person in this room, you know exactly what it takes to do better. It's your own damn fault. Everything in your life, you created it. So I don't believe people are ever really stupid when it comes to being successful. You're responsible for your actions. Take responsibility. For my daughter, you know. I want to instill good spending habits in her. Well, she's 11 years old. You better start quick. How come you're $200,000 in debt on clothes you're too fat to wear anymore and you don't have one dime put away for your kids? You know, if I've made you too uncomfortable, good. You just be yourself. What if you're an asshole? Your choice is to not work at a job and contribute financially to the welfare of the family. Carrie, I can't even begin to understand that. You might want to suck it up and just get a job. Responsibility. Now, don't write that down. Can't imagine where you've been in your life that suddenly that just hit you as a good idea. This is my speech on how to deal with change. Shut up. Stop whining. Get alive. Nobody cares how good you used to be. I had to fight my way out of debt and fight my way back to get on top. We do not make positive change in our lives when we feel good about who we are. We make positive change in our lives when we get uncomfortable with who we are. It has to get bad before it can get better, obviously. And you have to go face down in the mud and hurt. Things aren't so black and white. No, things are black and white. You're either earning enough money to pay your way, or you're not earning enough money to pay your way. I cannot imagine a question in this world that bankruptcy is the right answer for. It will bite you in the butt for the rest of your life. Well, I know how to change. 
<laughs> we That's the whole key. You guys have always known how to change, and you can change. It's just I don't see any willingness to change. You guys don't want to do this. If you're responsible to the people you signed that contract with, then you will pay them because you're a person who honors your contracts. And responsible human beings always do the right thing. I'm upset. You're not giving me a lot to complain about. I like to complain. You're killing me here. No, you guys are doing good. And I like your style. I Even appreciate that. Thanks. I know there are a whole lot more couples out there who need my help.